Good morning. Welcome to Monday. We're on September 20 something. I don't know the exact date, but you, you'll know it. It'll show at the bottom of the video when this gets posted. <laughs> so uh, we're over here in Arizona. The wife and I are completely moved in. We're done with the moves. Praise the Lord. Like, that is such a good feeling. We've got the bookshelf all unpacked and it's not quite organized yet, but whatever. Like that, that'll happen. I'm, I'm not worried about that in the slightest. Right now we're just trying to put the pieces of our lives back together. Where do we want to go? What do we want to do? What's what's happening with you and I, sweetie? Let's uh, work on that. And it's it's not been easy. There's a lot of stress that goes into moving, and when you do it twice in the process of two months, it, whew. So many many regards to my wife for being so patient throughout this whole process. I I couldn't have done it without her. She's amazing. Beyond that, now we're just, uh, like I said, we're trying to recalibrate. Where are we going? <laughs> Financially, which goals we want to achieve first? Um, as far as career-wise, where do we want to be in five years? What's going on with family stuff? Are we going to have kids in 20 minutes? Are we going to wait a few months? What's up? So we've been sitting trying to figure that out for ourselves. And a lot of good conversations come out of it. I... Highly recommend talking about these things with your partner before jumping into them. Uh, so I just wanted to talk to you today about a little life update. Like, where am I at? What's going on? Am I going to be posting regularly? Yeah. And that's why I woke up early today. I wrote out this awesome planner. It's a list of stuff to do today. You could read it, but it's sideways. I just held it that way because I'm unique. I'm a unique little butterfly. It's a planner, right? So I wrote out exactly what I wanted to do this week. And then I wrote out what I wanted to get done today, this morning, last night. Great idea for anyone who wants to be productive. I highly recommend doing that. Just write your goals down and then follow through with that list, whatever it is. It works. It works. And... It's been very helpful with that moving process over the last two months, just to have some kind of objective sheet. Like, okay, now it's Tuesday, it's 3 p.m. Have I done these things beforehand? Am I going to do the next things on the list? You, it, it's a lot like you have a mentor, but you never talk to that mentor. And in fact, the mentor is you, you're the one writing it all down. But you just, you go to the mentor, you're like, what should I do now? Ah, that thing. Make a list. Um, so I wrote down things I wanted to talk about in this video. And last night, I was like, man, that's going to make a great video. Ooh, you're going you're gonna to love talking about these things. And I'm looking at this list now, and I'm like, eh? <laughs> eh? It's, I, I don't see the inspiration that I had then. And it, it makes me wonder about the creative process or my creative process or if it's everyone's creative process. I have no idea. But it makes me wonder if when you're hit with that inspiration, do you need to immediately act on that inspiration? Do you need to somehow get yourself back to a place where you're, you're in the same mindset as when that inspiration hit you? Or what? I'm not sure. I'll figure it out. Uh, <laughs> something we've noticed in ourselves, I've got some kind of fluid buildup in my ear. I, as I'm talking, the right ear has this like, what do they call phonograms? Sonogram, no, sonogram's like a medical thing, right? Um, it like echoes in my ear. So I'll be talking and then every now and then there's like a chamber of fluid in my ear. It sounds like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. annoying, annoying. So hopefully I'm not talking strangely on the video. I just can't hear myself very well. Um, one thing we've noticed in ourselves is that we're, we'll make excuses and we'll whine with each other. And we thought that that was childlike behavior. I notice this in myself a lot more than she notices this in her because she doesn't do it as much as I do. 
<laughs> Hats off to her. She teaches me so much. But it's this making of excuses when some kind of responsibility presents itself to us. So being confronted with an issue and we go, oh, I don't want to do that. Or, oh, I don't want to have to solve that problem. Or I can't believe I have to do this again. Or that kind of whiny reluctance to, to take responsibility for something, to do something about a problem or to face your responsibilities is a childish mindset. And then I'm working right now on getting out of that by accepting maximum responsibility for my life, by, by making myself follow a plan of discipline. I'm becoming a man in, in whatever ways that I'm not already. Does that make sense? I, I've noticed this amongst friends and peers and coworkers, and I look at them and I see behaviors that I also see in myself. And I don't like those behaviors, not because I don't like those friends or coworkers or what have you. They're great. Love their company. I'm not judging them in any way. I'm, I'm saying that I exhibit these same behaviors and I don't want to. I, I don't want to be confronted with a situation and my reaction is to like shrug my shoulders and like that face was perfect. Just pouty. Like, okay. Here we go. Oh, what's the issue? Uh, no, no, I, I'd rather approach an issue with the mindset of how do we solve it? How, how do I take responsibility for it to make it better so that we can all move on from this issue? Even if it's just like doing dishes or tying your shoelaces or like set it over the object over here versus over there. Or doesn't matter how big or small it is. I just want to get rid of that whiny, mopey, dragging my feet, sarcastic teenager kind of residue that's in me. And I'm not really sure how to articulate that yet. And I'm, I, hopefully that made sense, but, uh, yeah, I, I don't want to be that way anymore because it's that mindset that's holding me back from being positive about every other piece of my life. Yeah. So fix that. And that's something she and I have been talking about these this last week. Um, that's like the biggest thing in my life right now. Going door to door, taking full responsibility for myself, trying to be as relaxed as possible at the door and taking maximum responsibility for every little piece of my personal life. It all fits together. And if one of them gets relaxed, they all fall apart. So there's a lot of stuff there. There's definitely different topics that we can make many different videos over. In the meantime, wait till tomorrow for more videos. This has been a little bit of an update of where I'm at kind of mentally. We moved here to Arizona, what we're doing career wise, but not a lot of detail for you. So let me know down in the comments if you want to know more and we'll talk to you soon. And if I may.